Hi everybody! Okay, so I'm going to do my Friday favorites and fails. I want to apologize for the lack of videos lately. I've been so busy working and the kids have been so sick. Um, and I've been so sick and tired and run down, so I apologize. But um, I think things are settling out now, so you should see more of me now. Yeah, more of this face in your subscription box. Yeah, I know you're excited. I bet so. Mm -hmm. So, I got some fun stuff to show you guys this week. Okay, so first favorite. Let's talk about these nails I got going on. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of it, but in real life, it's like a thousand times more awesome. So let me try and focus here. So I have this glitter polish over a black. I don't know how well the camera's going to focus, but I was walking through Walgreens, I saw this, and you know, it's $1.99 for sinful colors, and this is called Faceted. And just, just take a gander at this polish. So it's like a light purple glitter, and then it has little rainbow holographic stripe glitters. It is beyond amazing. Like, so it's a, yeah, purple glitter base with holographic rainbow stripe glitters. It's like a party on the nails. It's amazing. Love it. Another drugstore thing to do with the party theme. Um, Wet n Wild came out with their holiday collection. It's called Where's the Party? I already had the I Heart Matte, and I wanted to show you guys. I've loved this for so long, but I never showed you guys because it was limited edition last year. But they re-promoted this, and it's, I think it's called Drinking a Glass of Shine or something, a shine glass. I don't know, something along those lines. It's the exact same palette. It has matte neutral colors and some matte bright colors. I don't ever use those ones, but I use these ones all the time. They also came out with one, a purple, and a dark smoky side. This is called Shimmer the Night Away. Just look at the colors. Beautiful. And this one is amazing. And I was so sad. I dropped this before I could even use this and shattered it. So I had to repress it all. Um, so mine looks a little funky. This is Sparkle Till Morning. But just look at those colors. These have so many great dupes. Like seriously... Um, MAC Bronze, it has a dupe for Amber Lights, it has a dupe for um, Urban Decay Sin, it's just... I found mine at Walgreens, so if you can just take a gander at your local drugstore, I heard it's at CVS as well, it's amazing. This one especially, I definitely, definitely suggest as long, as well as the matte palette. It is so beautiful. This one is... Ugh. So creamy, so buttery, so pigmented, so just beautiful, lovely, and so many great dupes in here for such a great price for $4.99. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing quality, amazing deal, totally, like, 100% suggest that. Okay, next, last, yeah, <laughs> last favorite. Um, I got a new foundation. Oh, mine's kind of dirty. Um... I have been breaking out so bad. Um, I'm on a medicine that causes breakouts, unfortunately. Or it's like 1% of people that take the medicine I'm taking gets breakouts, and I'm in the 1 percentile. Yay! How awesome is that to get breakouts? So if my forehead looks broken out, it's because it is. Um, so I wanted to get a really, really full coverage foundation, and I've heard a lot of good things about this. This is the Kat Von D. It's the Locket Tattoo Foundation. It is super duper full coverage and it's so awesome because it covers my acne and my breakouts like that. It just, mine are so, they're so red and inflamed and painful and horrible, horrible, horrible acne I have going on right now. But this covers it up like so easy and I love that not having to spend so much time trying to cover up acne like that's annoying. Um, but so I really, really like this. It's really full coverage. I have it on obviously today. I got the color 48. Um, I think this would be comparable to like an NW25, maybe uh, NC25. It is a little bit darker than what I thought it was, but when I self-tan, um, it's perfect, so it works well. So I'd say it's probably about an NW25-ish or so. I love it so, so much. The only thing I don't like about it is it stinks. Um, I am going to do a full review and demo on my Tarte foundation, and then if you want a full review and demo on this as well, I'll go ahead and get those knocked out and put up for you guys here shortly. So if you want a review demo of this as well, um, leave a comment below. 
like I said, the tart one should be up next week. And um, yeah. Oh, if you love my, if you like my makeup today, I did record a tutorial, and that is coming. It'll be up the day before Thanksgiving, so next week, next Wednesday. So look forward to that. Okay, now on to my fail. I feel like I've just rambled on for a good, like, a long, long time. Okay, so my fail isn't necessarily the product itself is bad. As I just said, I've been breaking out because of my medicine. Lovely. So I was trying to find a good um, acne treatment, you know, cruelty-free acne treatment. So I got this Yes to Tomatoes. Um, clear skin acne spot stick and I thought it was interesting that it came in like a little roller ball thing like that the thing with this is the packaging does not work and I don't know if it's just mine in general but the roller ball does not roll very well and you can barely get any product so I'm like sitting there rolling my forehead forever and ever and ever and ever inflaming it more, pissing off my forehead and my pimples more because I'm trying to get some product out of here onto my acne so it can clear up. What I've been doing is I've just been sticking in a thumbtack or a uh, my tweezers and just popping out that little ball and then twisting it upside down then turning it upside down to get some on my finger to press onto the spots on my forehead um, and that works a lot better. I think this product does work at drying up the acne. I just, the packaging, I hate it. And I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's just mine. But if you have one of these and you're having a hard time getting an actual product out of it onto your face, onto your pimples, um, just pop out the little ball and then just use it that way. So I just thought I would show this in my video, let you guys know. I do like the product. I do think it's helping to dry up the acne. Yeah, I hate the packaging of this because it just isn't functional. And it could just be mine. I don't know if you have this. You know, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, but if you were having problems with this, with actually getting product out, just pop that little ball out and just store this like upright in like your little, you know, brush holder or something. So that way it's not like spilling and getting messy all, getting messy all over the place. What am I trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> so those are my Friday favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was useful, entertaining, something. If you got something out of it, thumbs it up because I appreciate that. That lets me know you guys like what I'm doing and I'm doing something right. Yeah, thumbs it up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hurt you guys all. Bye, everybody.